Heaven is a wonderful place. Heaven is a holy place. Heaven's a place of no pain, no sorrow. But to get there, the Bible says, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. There's no problems in heaven. There's no departing. But the Bible says, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. With the mouth confessions made unto salvation. That there is a mouth of ours. And the confession not only that Jesus is Lord, Jesus is God, but is he your salvation? You see, I myself, April 25th, 1987, I believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, and I was saved. But my salvation is not going to do you no good. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I can tell you of all the great benefits and blessings of heaven. And there are many. There are wonderful things going to happen in heaven. But it would be a waste of time for me to tell you if you don't want to do what God says to go to heaven. You see, heaven is God's throne. Heaven is God's abode. God made the rules. God made the way into heaven. God has set forth the standard. And the standard is that of Jesus Christ alone. And that if you're going to reject Jesus, and you're going to rebel against Jesus, you're not going to heaven. Regardless of what you think and regardless what you do, without Jesus Christ, You're not going where Jesus Christ lives. Imagine somebody rebuking and hating and despising Jesus. And yet you want to go to the place where Jesus lives. I want to go to heaven, but I don't want to do it through Jesus. And yet Jesus lives and abides in created heaven. That you want to go to heaven. And you want to rebel against the one that made and lives in heaven. You want to go where God is, but you don't want to do what God says. You're going to try to get where God is by what you think or what someone else has thought. Regardless of what God says, 
you plan on going to heaven in rebellion against the God that sits on the throne in the heaven. That you think you're going to spend eternity with a holy and righteous God while living and enjoying your sin. That one great denomination conquers all the other denominations or non-denominations. That out of all the churches, there is one church above all the churches. Except Jesus Christ himself said that he is the way. It didn't say the church is the way. You see, man has got it wrong, as he always gets it wrong. Salvation is not what man can do. Salvation is what God has done. And what God has done is that he died after suffering according to the scriptures upon the cross of Calvary. And they buried him. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the way. That is the light. And upon the cross of Jesus, God said, It is finished. Now, God did not say when he was baptized, It is finished. God did not say in the temple or the house of God, did not say, It is finished. God did not say while doing good, it is finished. God, upon the cross of Calvary, said, there, it is finished. And salvation has been brought in Jesus, and a church can't save you, only Jesus saves. A church will drive you to hell where Jesus will save you from hell. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It does not say, Believe in the church and be saved. It doesn't say be baptized and be saved. The Bible, the Bible says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved regardless of what you think. Regardless of what concoction you come up with. Regardless what any man has come up with. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. But preacher, I was baptized. 
Salt water or fresh fresh water? Which denomination of baptism were you? Salt water, fresh water? Were you river? Were you lake? Were you bay? Were you sea? Were you in a baptismal? Well, which one were you? Was it warm water? Was it cold water? Did the preacher get in the water with you? Did he stand outside the water? Well, wait a minute. If baptism saves you, well, which baptism? How about faith in Jesus Christ alone? That dying thief on the cross didn't get baptized, didn't join the church, did not give money. He puts his faith and trust in Jesus. And Jesus said, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Outside the church, outside of baptism, outside of doing good, that dying thief put his faith and trust in Jesus. That's it. Only Jesus saves. Salvation is of Jesus Christ. Damnation is anything else. Condemnation is religion. Going to heaven is through Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Jesus said, He is the way the truth, and the life. There is no salvation. There is no going to heaven outside the finished work of Jesus himself. That's it. And you can't ignore it. You can't say, well, I'm an atheist. I'm an agnostic. I don't believe. I don't care. When the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. You're going to meet God whether you believe him or not. You're going to stand before God whether whatever you did. You're not going to stand before Allah. Allah ain't a God. Allah's baloney. Allah wants to kill. Jesus wants to save. So Allah can't save you. There's no hope in the Pope, only Jesus saves. Moroni, Baloni, the Mormons, he can't do nothing. There's, there's, there's no such thing. But Jesus Christ, who's God? Jesus Christ is God, of God, by God, suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Well, you know, preacher, I believe in reincarnation. So what, you can come back as a cockroach so someone can step on you? You're going to come back as a shrimp and be eaten by marine life? There is no such thing as reincarnation. But there is a salvation wrought through and by Jesus Christ. That only Jesus saves. There is no means, there is no other, but through and by the blood of Jesus Christ. There is absolutely no entrance into God's heaven except through God. And God's not going to meet you through a religion. God is not going to meet you through water. God is not going to meet you through works. God is going to meet you through the blood. Through the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed upon Calvary's cross. And that is the means. That is the way. That is how God will save a sinner. Through the blood of Jesus Christ by faith and by belief. That is how God saves a lost soul. He comes to Calvary and says that one that is dying on the tree, the one in the middle, 
did it for me. I put my faith and trust that he on the cross Three days and three nights came out of that cross alive and is seated at the right hand of the Father. That's the one I will trust. And Jesus Christ is neither Catholic, he's neither Baptist, he's neither Presbyterian. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And now shall be saved.